So it's time to take the blinders off and see something realistically. Someone here is in denial and it's time to let it go. Um, it's time to look at people and the situation for exactly what it is. Stop denying that, you know, this person is not this way, that they're not a liar, they're not a cheater, they're not, or that stop denying that this job is not covering your bills and <laughs> not fulfilling you. There's a need to see something for exactly what it is. And the quicker you see things clearly, and began to make the best decision for you is when you're going to be stepping into your full power. It says that your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So you could be playing it safe by staying where you are or this is someone else. Someone may have decided to play it safe by staying where they were and just not looking at something realistically Someone could have made a decision that is easier. I'm hearing it's cheaper to keep her. Okay, so someone could have made a decision that it was just cheaper to stay where they are, stay in the place that they live in because they didn't want to pay any more money, stay with the person they're with because they don't want to have to go through legalities and child support or just having to start all over. Someone is being asked to step out of their comfort zone and surrender to their full power because there is something on the other side of this that needs to be seen. Like someone is making a decision based off of the circumstance instead of having faith that if they, you know, go in a different direction that it's going to be successful. So someone is not trusting their own self, their own abilities, their own intuition Someone may feel that they just don't have enough to make this happen or to see the outcome that they want. Someone just doesn't want to struggle either. So there are some people that just don't want to go through the struggle. You know, when you're having to, to let something go, it could cost you. It could cost you a bit of stability. It could cost you, you know, material and financial um, opportunities is in a sense because just like when you go through a divorce and someone has to move out you start to divide assets things like that start to happen and it's like someone doesn't want to have to go through that so they've been confused about how to find happiness in a situation that they're clearly not happy in you know whoever this person is this boss daddy here let me just take the card whoever this boss daddy someone doesn't want to lose their status okay and because they don't want to lose their status someone here just chose to not see <laughs> what's really going on here somebody just made a decision that you know what i'm just gonna look the other way collective this could be you you know what i'm saying you could be this person who just said you know it's too hard to meet someone new it's too hard to start over i don't want to date again i don't want to love again it's just too much you're being told to see a situation for what it is okay you you're look this keeps popping out wasting time somebody's wasting a lot of time in denial just walking along, going with the flow of it, knowing there are well that this is leading to a road of nowhere. There is one woman here with the blinders on. She's steady walking. She's just steady flowing on with the wind here. Okay? And then there's someone here who's vigilant. She's ready for whatever. She's ready to fight for what she wants. And she looked damn good doing it too, don't she? See, a lot of you, if you would just take this step to go through whatever you need to go through to win this battle here. First of all, 
warrior looks good on you, sis, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I mean, you're going to come out unscathed. You're going to come out better than what you think. Because you've got to wake up that inner warrior and begin to fight for what it is that you want. And someone doesn't want to do that. I think that's the difference between you and someone else. Like one person will fight or or all my life I had to fight. <laughs> Something like that. There's someone else here that just rather be comfortable in blindness. So this could be two separate people. And you could be saying, you know, this person is not like me. I'm not like them. They, they'll settle. They'll go with the flow of, of something that doesn't even make them happy. And they'll avoid be telling the truth. They'll avoid, you know, being honest about what it is that they really want and expect and need in life. And there's another person that's saying, don't even play with me. So some of you, this could be someone who's noticing that about you in comparison to other people. Someone could be realizing that their decision to not choose you was not a bright idea because they're dealing with someone who's in, who refuses to stand up for themselves. Maybe this is someone who just seems as though they don't really um, think. They, I'm not calling anybody slow because that's not appropriate to say but what I'm what I feel is like someone could have chose to deal with someone who doesn't really stand up for themselves they'll just look the other way they'll play dumb just to have um this boss daddy or to have this person in your life and you're not doing that and if you are doing that it's time for that to change okay maybe at one point you were willing to sacrifice to be with someone but I see now that you're ready to move on you're ready to see what else is out there or you should be open to okay yeah look at this I thought this was a marrying for money card but this is a happiness hater this is two women here like I said somebody's extra triggered because one person is going after what they want they have clear boundaries they're not going to allow somebody to just be in their life and and put look she's got on like a wedding dress here i'm telling you somebody could have married someone that they're not happy with or be in a marriage and if somebody is just turning the cheek like <sighs> but then they have the nerve to think that you're a hater you're like no i'm winning here because i don't want to be in those third party where somebody's going to have to constantly be cheating on me because they don't respect their partner. Look, giving money and jackpot. I'm telling you, somebody here could be putting up with a marriage or a relationship for convenience because of money, because of what they can get out of it, but they'll keep this person in a third party. I'm going to wrap this up. I feel like Somebody's bothered by the fact that you stand up for yourself and that you're not putting up with it. And if you're sitting here and refusing to accept the situation for what it is, it's time for you to realize your worth, that you deserve so much more than being treated any old kind of way. Stand up for yourself. Speak what you, what you want and what you deserve. And if a person does not meet you where you are, it's time for you to... Playing your next move, your exit strategy here, okay? So this is what I have here for the collective. I'm going to um, wrap it up. But if you guys would like to um, book a personal reading, go to my website. You can inbox me or email me. I'm always available. I want to thank you guys so much for your support. Definitely follow me on YouTube. If you're not already, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I'm trying to show more love to all of my platforms, but I am going to start um, cutting back on certain content to, to um, kind of 
have it mostly on YouTube, okay? Um, you'll get, you'll still get content, but some things are just going to be on YouTube uh, for the sake of time, okay? All right, guys, so thank you again for your support, and I will see you guys on the next one.